So what happened with the students' rights and responsibility this year that has been different from previous years is um, the district took the time to talk to our student leaders and to let them first be aware of we do have a rights and responsibility and we do want to hear what students have to say about it. They asked us about how we could improve our student handbook and focus more on student input which I thought was a very important aspect of listening to students because the school is for the students. This document is so important to us because it's our rights and we deserve a say in how we're disciplined and also how we learn. We gave feedback focusing on creating a better environment for all students. So we added ways that students um, could like talk to teachers or rights they had to talk to teachers. And we also reformatted it so it was a little more inviting to students. A great addition to the, the handbook itself is that there's a new place for the school's responsibilities in order for them to like take care of us and treat us with respect. We were kind of having a hard time figuring out how to include that. Like how do you include a teacher must respect his students and the students must respect their teacher. There was a lot of things that went into what a respectful relationship looks like. A relationship where um, I feel comfortable around my teacher, I feel like I can tell them if there's something that I don't really like in the class or something that I think could be improved. A respectful school environment just basically means that everything that everybody wants can't always be done, but for the school to hear us out and try its best to make sure that everyone is heard, that itself is like a huge step. Like there's an age gap definitely with teachers and adults. They're in a one-up position at school and you're in a one-down position. Um, but having the rights and responsibilities helps um, because it, it gives students um, that feeling that they deserve to be respected in a school environment no matter who's above or below them. Some of the ideas were like focusing on reducing suspension rates. You know, this is a time to learn. Like we should get second chances because it's so important that students learn from their mistakes now so that they can avoid that later. I also had the opportunity to um, go to the school board when they were presenting the document and just share a little bit of why we thought this was uh, so valuable. Interacting with the school board was way different than I thought it was going to be. Everyone was really accepting and really willing to hear what we thought. It felt great to be asked questions because it's our school and it's our education and we have a right to go forth and talk about what we need to flourish in our environment and get the most out of our education. I have found my most success in being able to use the Rights and Responsibility Handbook as a tool to find a common ground between me and parents and students. And the more that we can expose students to the Rights and Responsibility Handbook and let them know why this handbook is so important, the more we can improve relationships in the school.